Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. We have some problems with some pigs. We had the two up here I've showed you quite a few times that I saved from my first litter ever. And I got a boar from my neighbor and they've been together. Well, they had their babies this week. The first one had two dead and two alive. And the second one had one dead and four alive. So that's not very great success. And I'm wondering if it isn't something to do with my setup. My setup down there at the barn works great. She's had nine every time. Boom, boom, boom. She always takes care of them. This up here just ain't going too well. And frankly, the first one went ahead and it seems like she killed her other two live babies. We noticed she was eating uh, on their legs. One of them completely disappeared. So, not sure what's going on with that. Could be a power line issue. I've heard that being under power lines does cause problems, and I don't know exactly what all the problems are, but we may be screwed up. We may not be doing a very good thing up here to have them up here. I don't know. The next one had five. One was dead, but it seems like the other four might survive. Anyway, what you see right here is a bunch of radishes and clover and sugar beets that we planted in the fall we do have a video putting them out but this here you can see the warm weather starting to make them grow good and so i'm going to put my feeder pigs out here and let them dig those up and eat them here in a month or so whenever they are good radishes in the ground we recently got a new gilt about a year old gilt so i just got it spare of the moment didn't give a lot of thought to it. I just seen it was for sale. Somebody approached me and I bought it. So that guilt, well, let me take a minute right now and show you how we unloaded her. We didn't have a real good way. I put a rope around her midsection and, and held on for the ride. So watch that and then we'll talk some more. Here's the mom that has the babies that are still living. I'll give you a moment to see them. They're beautiful and they're gonna be blondes. Of course, she's not a blonde, but her babies are gonna be blondes because the boar is a blonde. So we are excited about that. These piglets will probably be for sale here in about six or eight weeks. And at this point, we're getting 125 a piece for them. You can PM me on Facebook and we can get together on that if you want. And we still have some of the first litter available as well that will be the swallow belly version. Now this back here is the one that had the four, two dead, two alive. I can understand having two dead pigs, not her fault. But when you start eating live piglets, you're putting your life in jeopardy on this farm when you taste as good as you do. We bought the other gilt in order to, just on the spur of the moment, I thought I'd fatten it up to eat. This one back here is already fattened up. This one over here is a different bloodline altogether. I think th something may happen along those lines. We'll probably be eating this one and letting this one have a chance to take her place. That's just life on the farm. That's just the way things go. So this is the first time I've had problems with mangalitsas. And so I'm assuming it's because of the setup is not right. That's what I think. Now my other hog down there with the boar has made me look a little bit like a genius, but when I get to doing other things and stuff don't work out, that lends me to realize, yeah, I've got to learn a little more. I need to practice some things. So be expecting in the future to see more tests and more results, hopefully good results. We're gonna try some different things we've already thought of, but the thing that really turns me against this pig is that it also came up to the other one with live pigs and was trying to get the babies through the fence. I just don't see much future with her. So here's the new gilt. This is the one I just purchased. Pretty excited to have her. She looks like she could have used a little more feed in the past. So we'll remedy that. We'll worm her and we'll give her some extra feed. 
I definitely want to have her wormed completely and in good shape before I put her in with my other stock because I don't want to be spreading stuff. If you're interested in having this type of pig, that is the swallow belly, my, about to sneeze. <laughs> yeah, I did. <clears throat> anyway, that's why we edit. <laughs> if you would like to have a Mangalitsa swallow belly, Mine are gonna be ready to go in one week from the date of the publish, publication of this video. So basically, April the 3rd is when they're due to go out. So I've got a lot of people coming from out of state and from here and there to get them. So if you want one, be sure to holler at me and I'll save one for you. We hope you have a great day. We hope you really are blessed, but that's about all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. There's mama. This is my good mama right here. She always raises nine.